we start into the topic uh, per se, we will have a introductory session where we will discuss the differentiating feature between lobar pneumonia and atypical uh, pneumonia so this we have, we have also discussed uh, this particular slide in our uh, first session uh, that is infective syndrome of respiratory tract so uh, uh, pneumonia can be clinically classified into lobar or typical and interstitial or atypical uh, pneumonia they vary from each other in their etiological agent as we have discussed the, in the learning objective uh, lobar pneumonia the etiological agent the most common agent of uh, novel uh, pneumonia is a pneumococcus. Apart from that, Haemophilus influenzae, Staphylococcus aureus, various gram negative bacilli uh, such as uh, Pseudomonas, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumonia, all this can cause lobar uh, uh, pneumonia. Okay. In contrast, interstitial uh, pneumonia is uh, typically caused by viruses. All viral uh, pneumonia are of interstitial type. They will infect the interstitium, not the alveoli. Lobar pneumonia is uh, characteristically, it will involve the alveoli. Okay. Whereas interstitial or atypical uh, pneumonia will infect only the interstitium. It will spare the alveoli. Uh, apart from uh, viral pneumonia, various uh, bacterial agents include mycoplasma pneumonia, okay, legionella, Chlamydia, all these are the uh, various bacterial agents of interstitial uh, pneumonia. They vary from each other in various aspects. Lobar pneumonia, uh, typically it is characterized by productive cuff. Okay. You will have purulent sputum. Yellow uh, sputum will be uh, produced from uh, uh, the lungs. So, you will have productive cuff, whereas interstitial uh, pneumonia, you will have dry cuff. Uh, without expectoration okay on percussion you will get a dull note in case of lobar pneumonia auscultation you will be uh, noticing consolidation consolidation also you will uh, you will get uh, when you do a chest x-ray in contrast interstitial uh, pneumonia you will not have any a uh, dull note on on percussion and on consolidation you will have patchy Reticulo nodular opacities to be particular GGO or ground glass opacity is common in interstitial or atypical uh, pneumonia. So, I have a uh, CT scan image you can see here a uh, lower pneumonia you have uh, typically consolidation whereas ground glass opacity is uh, typical of interstitial uh, pneumonia. So, you can see here various ground glass opacities which is seen in interstitial uh, pneumonia. So, uh, whether it is lobar pneumonia or interstitial uh, pneumonia, they share some common clinical manifestation such as you will have fever with children vigor. Increased respiratory rate is the most consistent uh, manifestation. You will have dyspnea, softness of breath, uh, difficulty in breathing, pleuritic chest pain. Okay, So, this is again a important a manifestation. So, these four are the common uh, manifestation of both lobar and interstitial uh, pneumonia. Apart from that, uh, there are some non-specific uh, manifestations involving other system like GI system involvement, you will have nausea vomiting, fatigue, headache, uh, myalgia and septic shock. Ultimately, the patient will be going into a septic shock because from lungs, the organism will gain access to the blood, you will have bacteremia and that lead to uh, septic shock. So, with this introduction, uh, let us start the various etiological agents of bacterial lobar uh, pneumonia to start with pneumococcal uh, pneumonia. Pneumococcal uh, pneumonia is caused by the agent streptococcus pneumonia. Okay. The streptococcus as such we have discussed in skin and uh, soft tissue infection. If you uh, remember the classification of uh, streptococci, then uh, streptococci uh, based upon hemolysis on blood agar, they are classified into three types, alpha, beta and gamma hemolysis. Beta uh, hemolysis, the examples include beta hemolytic uh, streptococcus such as streptococcus uh, pyogenes. Gamma hemolysis classical example is enterococcus, whereas alpha hemolysis 
or also called as greenish or partial hemolysis here the characteristic examples include streptococcus viridens and today's topic streptococcus pneumoniae which is also in sort in common name it is called as pneumococcus streptococcus uh, pneumoniae also called as uh, pneumococcus so uh, pneumococcal uh, pneumonia is considered as the most common cause of community acquired uh, pneumonia uh, remember it is the most common cause of community acquired uh, pneumonia so you have to understand the topic in detail because it's a very important topic in the exam the virulence factors which have contributed to pneumococcal uh, pneumonia the most important virulence factor is capsular uh, polysaccharide pneumococcus is capsulated so it will have a capsule uh, uh, surrounding the uh, cocci and the capsule act by inhibiting phagocytosis uh, this is how the uh, capsule acts the next virulence factor is carbohydrate antigen the c carbohydrate antigen is the common antigen of all streptococci and pneumococcal carbohydrate antigen based upon this the crp has been named what do you mean by crp crp is, is c reactive protein okay c reactive protein is synthesized by our liver okay it is a marker of acute inflammation okay it is an example of acute phase reactant protein i repeat crp is an example of acute phase reactant protein it is synthesized by our liver against acute inflammation it is uh, synthesized uh, against uh, whenever you have inflammatory uh, reaction including infections such as uh, pneumococcal infections however why it is called a c reactive protein uh, because this protein was found to be reactive with c antigen of uh, pneumococcus so this is carbohydrate antigen of pneumococcus the crp a protein is found to react with the carbohydrate antigen of pneumococcus that is why this protein is named as c reactive protein however you must understand we have also discussed this uh, this topic under immunology c reactive protein is a non specific protein it is a, it is a it is a non specific uh, protein and it is neither an antibody to uh, pneumococcal antigen okay it, it is non specific it can be raised against any infection and inflammation including uh, pneumococcal uh, pneumonia and it is neither an antibody against uh, pneumococcus it is just called as crp because it is reacted to the c antigen so this is about carbohydrate antigen the next virulence factor is pneumolysis uh, pneumolysis are the virulence factor which is responsible for alpha hemolysis of uh, pneumococcus so uh, pneumococcus will produce alpha hemolysis on uh, blood agar this is due to uh, pneumolysis other than that uh, pneumolysis will help in inhibiting neutrophil chemotaxis as well as inhibiting phagocytosis so these are additional functions of uh, pneumolysis next is otolysin otolysin is a virulence factor of pneumococcus which is responsible for characteristic draughtsman appearance of colonies as well as bile solubility okay so these are the two important properties by which we we usually identify pneumococcus in the in the laboratory and this this these two properties are mediated by autolysin autolysin means the this is a uh, virulence factor which which will lyse its own cell okay so autolysin they are uh, uh, capable of degrading lysing the own cells uh, that means the pneumococcal uh, colonies will be degraded in the center that is the reason uh, behind the draughtsman appearance uh, colony okay so it is also called as carom coin uh, colony where the where the autolysin is responsible for uh, degrading the center part of the colony hence the appearance will be there like this of course bile solubility it uh, pneumococcus is soluble in bile this is also uh, uh, because of a uh, production of autolysin which will destroy the organism in, in presence of bile so this is another virulence factor various other virulence uh, factors of uh, pneumococcus 
which include PSA that is uh, pneumococcus surface protein okay so this will help in addition IgA uh, proteases another important virulence factor pneumococcal surface adhesin this is another virulence factor so all these are various virulence factors of uh, pneumococcus which will help in pathogenesis now we will discuss the clinical manifestation so please remember that uh, pneumococcus colonizes the nasopharynx upper respiratory tract and the colonization usually occurs in the childhood from the nasopharynx organism spills over to blood and from blood it goes to various organs to produce the uh, manifestation coming to the manifestation the most important of manifestation is lobar uh, pneumonia it infects the lungs apart from that it, it can cause pulmonary complications uh, such as empyema and para pneumonic effusion empyema means formation of pus in the uh, pleural cavity as well as para pneumonic effusion these are the complications which may be seen third important uh, clinical condition is called as invasive pneumococcal disease it is characterized by presence of the organism in the normally sterile sites the sites which are otherwise sterile uh, pneumococcal infection may happen to those places this is called as invasive uh, pneumococcal infection please remember pneumonia is not an invasive infection invasive infection in uh, in uh, pneumococcal uh, infections the invasive uh, pneumococcal disease ipd is uh, defined as invasion of the organism to normally sterile site the classical example is blood bacteremia meningitis uh, pneumococcus remember it is a most common cause of pyogenic uh, meningitis in any age group in all age group overall uh, pneumococcus is the most common cause of pyogenic uh, meningitis other invasive infections are such as osteomyelitis septic arthritis peritonitis pneumococcus again is an important cause of spontaneous bacterial peritonitis sbp or spontaneous bacterial peritonitis are also called as primary bacterial uh, peritonitis okay so these are the various invasive infections caused by uh, pneumococcus and don't uh, forget that uh, pneumococcus may also cause local infections such as sinusitis again uh, pneumococcus is the most common cause of uh, sinusitis otitis media uh, pneumococcus uh, one of the commonest agent to cause otitis uh, media